We've got some big news coming from Replit today with the drop of Agent 3. And the big headline here is Autonomy for All with some very cool new bells and whistles. First, let me give you a little bit of context. What makes an agent different from a traditional AI tool is the fact that agents are goal oriented. If you tell an agent, hey, go out and build out this application with X and Y features, unlike traditional chatbots, you're not just going to get some helpful suggestions in a bit of code. It's actually going to start putting together that application, start some planning, start some tool calling, and actually start writing code. It just has more autonomy than traditional chatbots and traditional AI tools. With Agent 3, the Replit team is amping up this autonomy part. Get this, Agent 3 is now 10 times more autonomous and can work up to 200 minutes without you intervening. That's over three hours where you can have your agent work and crank on a really complex problem. In my early testing of Agent 3, it's doing a lot more upfront and robust planning. It's getting stuck less regularly and it's coming to me with less premature check-ins. The other neat thing that I noticed about Agent 3 is that now it's calling its own sub-agents. So you almost have an army of agents being called by Replit Agent to build out your software. Agent 3 now comes with better automated testing that automatically checks your code. And it even has a built-in web browser that acts as a human going through your application. That is gonna be super important because one of the biggest problems with AI coding and vibe coding in general is that you continually have to check the work of your agent after each iteration cycle. With the new automated testing and browsing feature, you can expect up to a 3x faster and 10x improvement in cost effectiveness over traditional testing methods. So Agent 3 is dropping with more autonomy, better testing, and if that wasn't enough, there's another monster feature in this release that I am super stoked about, and that is agents and automations. Essentially, Agent 3 is now going to help you build out your own custom agents. The promise here is that you're going to have your own suite of agents to help you with different tasks and different objectives. And you're gonna be able to train, deploy, and monitor those agents in Replit. Let me give you a quick example. Here, I've built out a very simple agent. It's basically an assistant. So if there's a particular task that's come up in a Slack channel, I can call my agent and it will automatically grab the details from that conversation and create a new task in my Notion database. I also gave it a simple tool to be able to check the weather. So if I wanted to find out what the weather is in Foster City today, I can do that as well. This is a very simple example, but what you're seeing here is an agent with tools and workflows that I have custom trained and am hosting on Replit. There's going to be a number of different templates and different workflows that I want to work on and that I'm going to be sharing with you over the next couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's hard to believe, but it's been almost a year since Replit dropped its first agent. And Replit was so ahead of the game. I remember getting a ton of questions around like, hey, Mandy, what is an agent? How is it different from a chatbot? When Replit agent dropped, I could just show them Replit agent and say, hey, here is what an agent is. It has a goal. It calls tools. It writes code. It checks itself. It takes your feedback. That's an agent and people understood it and got what an agent was. And now with Agent 3, the Replit team is continuing to build on that lead with additional autonomy, better testing features, and the new agents and automation stack. If you're already on Replit, you see a lot of these new features already made available to you. And if you're curious about getting started with Replit, now is the time to do so. 
The toughest part about getting started with Replit is deciding on what you're going to build. You can work on an internal tool for your company or your team, maybe a custom CRM or an automation. Maybe you're working on a new website or a portfolio website for yourself or a site for a new side business or an event, or maybe even a game or an app for your kids. Really, there's so much that you can build. If you're looking for inspiration, check out the new Replit Gallery. You're going to find a ton of great apps that people have built with Replit and a lot of remixable templates, including several from yours truly. Super excited to see what you build. Definitely stay tuned for more templates and tutorials for me on Replit coming soon. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.